morning everyone so I've got another little video for you another Christmas card video I've kind of planned out where I want to put everything and I have done a lot of the die cutting um, or all the die cutting and all the um, like embellishing and colouring I used what did I use on these ones I used my um, peerless watercolours on these <coughs> excuse me and then on on the edge of, edge on the what am I trying to say on the snowy bit <laughs> I used some just some regular adhesive like um, I think I used a Tombow for that and then used some sparkly white glitter so whatever you've got um, I also embellished a lot of the little fairies and that I used some you can use Winker Stella or I used the Spectrum Noir pen which has got like a white glitter in it as opposed to the um, Spectrum with um, the Winker Stella which has a more gold tint to it and then I embellished with some glossy accents just to make them a little bit you know just stand out a little bit more um, I've also used, so just so you know, I've used the Long Thorn Frosty Fairies uh, Fairy Friends um, stamp and die set. It comes with coordinating dies. I used the large stitched rectangle dies from Long Thorn as well. And I used the biggest one there, <coughs> which will die cut a A2 American A2 size card. So. What I did was I cut it out four times, three times, three times. One from some, I think this is Soft Sky um, Stampin' Up cardstock. Then from some Crumb Cake cardstock. And then I cut it out from some just white glitter card that I had on hand. Um, and then what I did was I, the blue the Scott Soft Sky I've left as the whole panel and you'll see that as I put this together and then the um, crumb cake I used the Lawn Fawn Stitch Mountain Borders and I used the largest one although I'm wondering because they're so little whether I should have used the little one but it doesn't matter <laughs> just <laughs> it might look a bit <laughs> odd <laughs> and then with the these like little snow cap bits for the mountains so I cut those out with the glitter cardstock as, as well um, oh, and by doing that, what happens is you have, um, let me just get this off so you can see what I'm talking about. I used the, the piece that I cut out, square like that, of the crumb cake. I then lined up the border die, and what happens is you then have stitching all the way around, um, which I think is really quite a neat thing. And the same for these, um, Hills these um, border dies here. Everything's going everywhere now. So I've got two different like levels of it, and I use the stitched hillside borders um, by Lawn Fawn as well for that. So I'm going to let's see. Oh, and I have a card piece, a crumb cake card stock piece that measures. I think it's eight and a quarter. No, eight. Yeah, eight and a quarter by five and a half. It's it's the width of an A4 here in the UK. Um, normally, America would have eight and a half. So I thought that even with this panel, I could make it work. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I just scored it in half at four and an eight, so that it just uh, it's another way of saving saving a bit of cardstock. So it's slightly smaller than a, a normal A2 size card, but not much. And then I have some more of these die cuts that I've embellished with some glossy accents which I'm going to put on the inside of the card right I also have from the same Lawn Fawn um, stamp set I have a, a sentiment that I've put together to put on the inside of the card normally I put my thingies on the outside um, my thingies my <laughs> sentiments on the outside but you know, I just not for this one for some reason. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start putting this together. Let's see whether I can uh, 
do this without um, see how long it takes me to put this together <laughs> I might have to fast forward from about here <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens I can't remember where I'm putting these That's the other thing is that if you if you plan it out, if you plan your cards out, it makes it a lot easier when you want to put them, you know, start putting them together. So I've got this, I think I'm going to put this one on here. Where's the other one gone? There it is. Right, so I've got my mountain. It's snow. So that's just going to sit straight on there. I'm going to put my tape. Bear in mind, you can do this. You can create all sorts of stuff with these. Um, all sorts of scenery type things or you can do really simple cards um, as long as you're creating something I think that's the most important thing is to just get creating there you go so there's the background oh, let me zoom in a bit and you might be able to see that a bit better And I want to put this little guy on here and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna kind of line it up so that it's let me let me let me let me let me let me I've put both um, double sided tape and um, like regular, sorry, double sided tape and what's this called? Um, liquid adhesive because this is going on to some glitter cardstock. And glitter on glitter is sometimes hard to stick, if that makes sense. So I'll use glue dots, I think, for the little creatures, the little fairies. But oh, this isn't sticking, so I think what I'm going to have to do is get some, some of this. This is like super sticky tape. <laughs> so let's just see. Just see how we go with this. <laughs> if I can. If it will let me. And I'm going to get covered in glue here now. Lovely. That's how we roll sometimes. Right. And it's just come back. Right. Ugh, get off. Right, so let's try that again. <laughs> so I've got some super sticky tape here now. And that should hopefully stick it really well. Just checking my alignment. There you go, look at that. Just like that. <laughs> so I've got my heels. Oh, look at that. 
pretty huh and also with this dies you get like a stitch detail you can also reverse that so that you don't have the stitch detail but I like the stitch detail <laughs> I'm a big fan so I can use regular on this bit oh. because it's just cardstock to cardstock and I'm just gonna plop that on here plop being in a you know technical term <laughs> let's close that otherwise that's going to dry up so now so this is the background already already now I need to start sticking all these little guys so I want my house a little housey and this is where it gets a bit fun because you get to like um, you know decide where you're going to put all your pieces and can you see all that you can't really see it but I'll just try and bring them into the shot here so you can see and then and don't you know don't feel like you have to use everything you know you can keep it for another card or you know just keep it in the pouch so like I've sometimes done sometimes I just want to do a bit of coloring so I'm not making a card I'm not making a scrap of page I'm not doing anything like that I just want to make I just want to color in because I like to do that so sometimes what I've done is I've colored in stamped and colored a load of image, images and then just put them in the back or the front of the um, stamp set and that way when I look through my stamp set I go oh yeah I've already got that ready to go and then that saves a bit of time if you if that's um, you know if you're worried about time and stuff like that so I found that quite handy so it's a tip for you Now these are big, big glue dots, big old glue dots. And I like using glue dots because it means that you've got a bit of space. Ugh. You've got empty space where the glue dots aren't, if that makes sense. So you can still tuck things behind things. And also glue dots on a, um, on a, uh, On like glitter cardstock and stuff like that works really well. There's the little house. <laughs> so cute, so so cute. Um, let's get little. I've got different size glue dots here as well. So let's get a little mushroom sitting over here. I don't want that. A little mushroom about there. And I sort of had this planned out, but you know, <laughs> sometimes these things don't always work out the way you plan them. This one can be sitting slightly behind the house. In fact, that's that dude's not. There you go. I say he needs to either be in front or behind the house, not half and half. <coughs> And I think this one I'm just going to put over here, sort of slightly, slightly in front of that dude. Now we can start to put these guys, see how you can tuck them behind, I'm just going to kind of lay them out just so that I can see where where I'm tucking things and oh, that's quite cute like that but I want him in the foreground got another one isn't that cute this thing is really sweet and I wasn't sure if I was going to use these. These are just um, some of the other stamps in the, the like foliage stamps. So instead of stamping them in black like all the other outline images, I stamped them in, um, I used a Distress Pinecones um, ink. Um, and I just thought it would make more sense to have them in there, if that makes sense, in that colour. So I might add them in. 
let me I like the way these are so I'm just gonna glue these down so let's get one there oh. my kitty cat's joined us Bless her. she's not being very well so poor baby Oh baby kitty. Oh, I just do that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Let's grab one of these ones. Then. <laughs> Good job I had extras. Right, so just be careful when you <laughs> uh. ah. be careful when you uh do things like that. <laughs> oh. There you go. That's better. Oh. My neighbour. Obviously not very well. I wonder if it's one of the girls. Bless them. Because you've got glue dot there, you can kind of manipulate a little. If that makes sense. And kind of manipulate it so that it will go where you want it to go. If that made any sense. Now this, I shouldn't have really. I could still use that somewhere. <laughs> Even this little piece, I can still stick him in there. Look at that, making use of the one I broke. Why not, eh? Let's try not to break this one though. That would be useful. <laughs> so, you've gone to all that trouble of colouring it in and you know, all that sort of stuff, so you may as well make use of them all. There you go. So even those little pieces, <laughs> well, you know, broke it. They've come off too. <laughs> right, so oh, I'll put the lights on in a minute. I don't know if I want these in there now. I think I like it like that, actually. These would be nice if you stamp them as a background as well. Um, I think that'd be really sweet. Now I can't decide whether these lights need to go under the rafters like that or whether or whether they need to go whoop, like that hmm I want to say they should go there but I can't you know when you can't work something out I'll do it in the middle half and half Some glue dotage. Um, sorry, camera died. <laughs> so, well, it didn't die. It just kind of ran. It has a certain amount of time that I have to record. So, so I decided to put it sort of in the middle. <laughs> it still looks cute. All right. So then, got a little fairies. Are they adorable? And I might pop these up actually, just on some foamy, see they're going to be flying through the air, isn't there a song there, I like, a very long time ago, <laughs> aren't they sweet though, look at that, so I think that's where I'm going to put them, I'm just going to use glue dots. I was going to pop them up, but to be fair, the glue dot will also get had a bit of, not a ton, but a little bit of um, dimension. 
What's the word? Oh, don't get stuck to my finger. That'd be useful. <coughs> So that is one very blingy, shiny <laughs> card front. So let's do the inside. We finally got there. So I'm just, it's going to be a, um, what I, I think was normally known as a side fold card. So if most cards are made this way, this would be a, a side fold, but <laughs> it's going to go horizontal. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to, what colour should I stamp this in now? I didn't think of that, did I? Um, right, I'm going to go with soft sky, so that sort of ties in the... Um, the background a bit so it brings it in together. Let's see. Hopefully this will somewhat straight. Ta da! It's not totally straight. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Can you see that? Have a magical fairy Christmas. Uh, yeah, that's me, full of weird stuff. See, and I had two, so they were going to kind of wrap around. I think I might just put it. Finagle some of this. So let's get this stuck up back onto the card. What I'm going to do is, because this panel is actually bigger, slightly, than this one, I'm going to turn the main panel over, make sure I've got it the right way up, and then line this up on the back of the card, so that I can get somewhat of an even border around it. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just do it like this. Oh, I can't get this right. Right, right, right. Yep. All right, we're not doing that. We're just going to line it up on the bottom. And it will just stick out at the top bit. That makes sense. Mm. 
will just stick out the top a bit so you have a little bit it's not the end of the world people are going to be like wow maybe <laughs> there you go guys I need to finagle that bit but I'll do that afterwards have a magical fairy Christmas everyone ta-da 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 <laughs> bye